the challenge that I found is that people really don't understand blockchain. And and when I say people, I say our governments. And uh, and sometimes they want to go on the hype, like you said, on the waves. And I don't want to make this political. It's not about politics. It's just about education. And I think an event like yours is highly educational and highly about creating attention. You just mentioned Binance put $200 million in the French economy. That's a substantial number. And, uh, and at the same time, Binance is it's a player that is a kind of a global octopus that you never know where it goes but it's as, uh, as well one of the biggest trading platforms uh, probably the biggest trading platform in the world at the moment so how do you from your experience and i know that you do a lot of different events and you come from a financial background how can we actually create more awareness in the positive level because the challenge i've been finding is this positive level especially when it comes to governments and institutions because very easily they pass from an extreme to the other. Okay. Um, well, the, the, for, for me, there are two main drivers. Uh, the, one of them is, uh, uh, is the use case. Uh, you probably have heard and you will see at some conferences, uh, for example, Finland, the government has, has worked on digital identity uh, and tried to build um, uh, a new system based on the blockchain. So uh, I, I've, I've been at um, uh, French government uh, events where uh, they look at what's happening all over the world in terms of digital identity, because that's one of the topic. Um, also for, for healthcare, uh, because if you have all your health information on the blockchain, then it's, it's uh, accessible uh, in a far better and a far trustworthy way um, than it is right now on an information system that uh, has uh, its ups and downs. So government are, 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 um, are slowly um, seeing the, the benefits of, uh, of blockchain just for, for the, its, main, uh, uh, its main use cases. Let's say. And the second, uh, the second uh, driver to me is, uh, is business because it's not just crypto because crypto, means uh, another currency and it's uh, for them it's uh, it's just not possible to have a currency that's not regulated by a central bank so okay so let's leave that on one side and it's 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 not uh, uh, it's not the way that we can talk to about blockchain uh, uh, to them uh, but when we uh, are talking about businesses uh, which mean uh, job creation uh, companies that are building real uh, business models uh, because of this technology, um, uh, companies uh, from the mainstream uh, business era uh, that are investing as well and, and recruiting people and, and that you see more and more um, uh, of the economic power of, uh, of this uh, sector, then they cannot, they just cannot ignore it. Uh, and, uh, and, and that's the, the two best way I see for, um, for onboarding the, um, the, the, the government. And it's uh, a, key, a key element for us. And, and I think that's the way to go.